Hello, everyone. Welcome back to MCTV. We're starting a new segment this week. It's called the Warrior Rundown. We're going to talk about five topics, and we're each going to give you our thoughts on that. I'm going to start with women's hockey. Women's hockey had the first two games canceled, and so but eventually they will be playing on December 11th against Holy Cross. Uh, what do you guys think about that game? Well, um, it sucks that the women's haven't been able to play yet. It sucks that no sports have gone to play yet, even though they've been approved for games. So I'm looking forward to the first game against Holy Cross. I know they're kind of pinned as underdogs in their division, but they've been D1 for a while, and there's a reason they've been D1. I think I think they'll pull something out. I heard I they had that, uh... freshman coming too, right? There, yep. was, there was an article in the local newspaper um, that a girl from my town is actually on the team. Um, that was actually pretty recent. So I think – and I knew that she was a stud when she was – here and she I think she went to Loomis I want to say I'm not sure where but um that was a cool article that I saw so I don't I I think they're going to be like a decent young team too yeah in the uh in the preseason polls Merrimack is finished or predicted to finish in ninth out of ten and Holy Cross is actually the only team predicted to finish behind them at 10th so it looks like we're getting a dub right there I mean according to the you know the preseason polls it's looking looking like a good start to the season but you know, mm. they're just they're just poles in the end of it. Hey, they could so, be higher. Yeah, yeah. you got to work your way up. Hey, I think we'll be tied for first after one game. That's all. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess, right? All right, and then next topic we're gonna, we're going to move on to is men's hockey. Uh, the men's team is slated to. Oh wait, is the first? Oh, the first game was supposed to be tonight, but it's canceled. And they're hoping to hit the ice tomorrow against UMass Amherst. I believe that's at UMass Amherst. And so let's run it back to you guys. What do you think about that one? Now, I know that the men's team, I heard that they got a lot of freshman players last year, and they actually had to cut a lot of seniors. So the fact that all these freshmen are more experienced, they should be playing better than they did last year. And I know that the school went out and got – uh, some top transfers, mm-hmm. uh, like this kid from Wisconsin named Mick, who apparently is very, very good. Good. I heard they're going to be a good young team. I've heard that from a lot of different people. I was interviewing um, one of the assistant coaches like a month or so ago, and he was saying that they're going to be a good young team. And, I mean, from everyone that I've talked to, it's been like – in and plus, I mean, they must be pumped for tomorrow night. I mean, but – They've been practicing for what, like two months now, and they oh, haven't yeah. been able to play a game yet. So they must be just biting at the what's the what's the saying for that? I don't know what the saying is, but they must be <laughs> just itching to like throw some hits oh, and yeah. score some goals. Oh, yeah. I think that'll definitely be a good game. I'm excited to oh, I'm have, ho- to have it. hockey back. You know what I mean? So, all right, and now we're gonna move. We're gonna move on from sports to some. Some uh, local, the local food scene around the college. Uh, big news is that Five Guys is coming in uh, in the Burton in the Burton's Plaza, kind of between Burton's and uh, uh, Chipotle. So I know I'm excited about that. I know I imagine I'm going to lose a lot of money to that very Five Guys. Uh, what about you guys? What do you think? Uh, I'm just happy. You know, we got more options for food now. That's always a better thing. The only issue is I'm hoping for a Law of Five Guys Christmas gift cards. I, right. I said to my parents, I'll be eating a Law of Five Guys. Their response was, you're not going to be able to afford it. And I'm hoping I will. As you guys know, I was like a transfer student this year. And I always walk past the den and I see that little burger place, the smashed burger. And it's never open, obviously. So I'm hoping that I can actually get a, like a good burger for once because – any burgers that they've had at Sparky's have been crap so far. So <laughs> I guess we'll see. Yeah, yeah the Den definitely had the highlight food at the Den. They were always good. And the fact that we haven't been able to have like anything from there all semester kind of sucks. Nothing compares to five guys, though. Mm. Very no, true. I would, I would argue that a Yerman run Den be, would beat five guys any day. Would beat five guys? Yeah. If, if you I have, mean, your, dude, I don't if you have your man there, there five, guys is, five guys is top three fast oh, food burgers. If you, you, Matt, you don't know your man. 
You don't know him. I don't know him, but I just yeah, find right. it hard to believe that he would beat no. five guys. Because if you're because even if the food, even if the food is bad, you he's he's always there with a smile saying, Would you like a drink cup? And I'd be like, Yes, I want a drink cup. And, and if he likes you, you get that cup. big drink cup. Mm-hmm. Oh, he'll give you that extra Fine, drink cup. But a drink cup doesn't like doesn't recuse for a like bad burger. Like it nah. has to be a good burger still. I can't be like, well, at least Yerman was there smiling. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, sure move on to the that next that topic. Way. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He hasn't, all right, all right. He hasn't tried them yet. All right, next topic. I was a little shocked when I heard this one. Probably everyone who heard this was shocked. Uh, so a driver demolishes the local Panera Bread. Um, I haven't seen it, but I was told that it, you know, it's completely destroyed. And for me, that I don't like that because the only gift card I have for food is a Panera gift card. And now I cannot use that Panera gift card for the time being. And so, I don't know. What, what are you guys feeling? I mean, I don't know how someone managed to absolutely demolish the Panera bread. I don't know what was going on through their mind that instead of just parking, they just went right through the store. Mm-hmm. I, it may have been one of those, uh, they, think it's in, they think it's in reverse but it's in drive, and then after they've gone 40 feet from the parking spot, they still think it's in reverse, I guess. I thought it was a drive through Maybe that. Maybe I mean, it, it happens for a second or two every now and then. I know what's happened to me before. I've hopped the curb in my time. Yeah, but if you've, ever seen, if you've ever been there, you know how far away the parking spots are from the yeah. building. <laughs> this person's okay, right? We can, like, joke about it. I would think so. I don't, I don't know. The, I think so. Okay. I feel so it maybe, would have gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're okay. okay. Next they just have to hop the curve. Okay, so that means that I can joke about it. Um, maybe they just hated Panera, and there it was like oh, a yes, it was yes. like a let's get rid a rival of Panera. gang. I hate Panera. Maybe, I wouldn't drive my car through it because I don't have enough money to fix my car afterwards. But like, fair. maybe it was one of those like, Five Guys goons. Panera, they're like, oh, true. I hate this place. Yeah, maybe to take a boyfriend who just didn't want to go grab that next order for his girlfriend or vice versa. Yeah. That's it. They just didn't want to make that next trip. Mm-hmm. They were like, screw this, I'm driving through it. <laughs> I know that a few years ago that here in Maine, someone some high schooler drove through like a supermarket. It was the same thing, but he like the building like collapsed on it because I guess like the entrance was like the focal point of like the construction or whatever. And so, like, the whole building collapsed when he drove. I mean, no one was hurt, but, like, he, they had to, like, completely remake the building. So, like, I worked at a movie theater. All I know is it like, looks like five guys. <laughs> five guys going to get more. Guys is They're going to get more. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was a five guys hit. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. what I was saying. All I'm saying is that I worked at a uh, movie theater once where there was this guy that just drove straight through, like, like 70 miles an hour he just drove straight through the windows right into a theater and it's like a good 100 feet from the doors to the theaters and he just kept moving and people like no one hurt which i don't know how but like they had to do a bunch of structural like reconstruction and stuff and it was like oh my god did you guys tell him it wasn't a drive-in no we told him but he didn't <laughs> he didn't believe us i guess i don't know you no, dude, I swear to drive. Dude, I swear to drive. In. <laughs> to drive in. <laughs> There's doors. You're gonna try through the doors. <laughs> All right, and so with that, we move on to our, our fifth topic, which is the NEC comes out with a fall sports return. I believe that they're just gonna start the season in the spring. Yep. So that's gonna be all fall sports are moved to the spring, which is good. It gives the fall athletes a chance to, you know play their season uh, i know everyone will be excited to you know watch football whether it be on like a live stream or i guess from you know from outside the complex <laughs> like you know out, you know how the fence is like out, you know you can maybe stare in from there i don't know what the protocol will be but i'm excited for sports uh any sports that comes on i'm always looking forward to especially merrimack sports so what do you guys think I'm definitely looking forward to fall sports finally getting to, like, actually play. I know, especially, like, you were talking about football. The football team, I interviewed one of the coach. I interviewed the head coach a couple months ago, and he was telling me how how many, like, gifted freshmen they got mm-hmm. through uh, recruiting and how well-rounded and good this team was supposed to be. 
And so the fact that, like, they're actually going to be able to play, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm just looking forward to all sports being able to be mm. played on campus. I hope that they don't just keep getting postponed and canceled. Right. I mean, even if we can't watch it, do we know if we can watch it yet? Is that, I, like, out? We'll definitely have some sort of live stream. They did that even with – all the sports last year, in addition to being in person, you could live stream the games and watch them. Okay. So we'll be able to watch them. Well, even if, I mean, even if there's still like football, even if we can't watch it, it'll still like the campus is dead on Saturdays and Sundays. So like if there's at least games being played, mm. like noises, <laughs> like that's good enough for me. Okay. Like Honestly, though, like if there's like football sounds and like buzzers and stuff like even that is better than nothing. I opinion. remember freshman year uh, sitting in my friend's room in Ash because we were third floor just looking oh. out and seeing the football field at like one o'clock watching the games from there. Oh, just cool. different. Different times. <laughs> so speaking to the talented freshman that you mentioned, when Matt, Matt, I don't know if you were there or not, but I was we were there. Play- yeah, we yeah. were playing football. We, we were playing first- we were playing pickup football on the turf, and one of the those talented freshmen uh, came up and asked if he could play with us. And he, I we can't, I can't remember his name for the life of me, but he was indeed was talented. He was Just talented. Needed. We are not football players. Oh, no, we're not. But <laughs> we we go out there and we have fun. And this guy who was a football player was mm. like, "You guys aren't football players, are you?" And you're like, "No, you are though." And it was you great. are though. Yeah. Yeah, he was kind of. Um, I think it was our RA was trying to cover him. And <laughs> oh no, not Pat. Yeah, Pat, 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 shout out to Pat Duncan trying to cover a D1 football player. But uh, it didn't go too well for Pat. Uh, Aiden probably put up some Metcalf numbers on him uh, on a 50 yard field. Yeah, a 50 yard field. So, <laughs> but so that, that's our, that covers our five main topics. I think we're going to add a, uh, you know, a kind of a segment where you just say, you know, say whatever's on your mind, uh, you know, like big sports game coming up, something like that. So I'm going to start this Sunday, Titans Browns, baby. That is, pr- that it's one o'clock, but that is a must watch game. Two, eight and three teams. Oh, I'm excited. I had, I said, mom, you need to make me some Buffalo chicken dip for that bad boy. And she was like, all right, she got, she's getting started on the Buffalo chicken dip. I'm going to have my Buffalo chicken dip uh, watching it on the big screen whether I have to hook up my laptop to it or not, but I'm very excited for that. So what are you guys excited for? I mean, Mike, it's week 13. It's a big week. And Mm -hmm. your Browns, I need Baker to spread that. I need Austin Hooper. I need need the Browns offense in general to have a great day. Mm -hmm. Just all around. I, I I hope they have a big day too, so. We'll wait, we'll wait to see on that. They're against the Titans? Mm-hmm. Titans are going to win. Titans, well, they're both eight and three. I know. Titans are going to win. Titans are a unit right now. Derrick I, Henry, AJ Brown. I don't know. Who can throw the ball better? Hill or Baker? It's hard Baker. to pick. Baker, best commercial actor in the NFL, mm-hmm. yet somehow True. can't have a NFL uh, season to save his life. Uh, oh, uh, excuse Instead. me, Matt. Uh, what is your quarterback's uh, touchdown to interception ratio currently? I don't know, but yeah, is it Cam like four to nine? Baker's is seventeen to about- seven. I don't want to hear it. I don't want okay, to hear it. Talking, talking about Cam Newton, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Forget his, you. You just forgot his like nine, ten rushing touchdowns. Just forget about that. All right. Yeah. What about? Uh, I love fumbling on the last drive to lose the game. One so. fumble all season, yeah. and he lost the game. Yeah, Sean, that was a tough fumble. <laughs> it was a tough fumble. Right <laughs> that was a bad fumble to see. <laughs> I don't know. Patriots are gonna be are gonna be back next year though, and I'm still not cutting them out this year. Anything? Oh, the dude, Bill, dark horse, dude. They're not out somehow. They're not Anything out yet. So. They're they're in with Bill, no matter what. Like the Ravens, the Ravens are kind of choking away. they I mean, the Ravens are out of the playoff picture right now. Are they? If the Patriots yeah. win next week and the Ravens and Raiders lose. We leapfrog both of those teams. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even know I, that. somehow. I would not mind seeing. I mean, I don't really. As long as the Browns make, it, I don't really care what happens to the Patriots. Well, the Ravens almost, beat the, almost beat the Steelers, and they honestly, 
nothing against Trace McSorley, but like Dude. if they had if they had, had Lamar in there, like they probably would have. No, we gotta get that song. We gotta I, get that song in here. Yeah. I Dude, looked it up. Aussie, the, this Steelers team, they're what, 11 and 0 now? Or 12 and 0? I looked at it, and four out of their 11 games that they have won, they have gotten to go against either second or third string quarterbacks well, again and again. Good. And they are hardly winning against, like, Garrett Gilbert from the freaking oh. Dallas Cowboys. I would love to hardly be in R3 right and Trace McSorley. Dude, the hey, I saw this thing. It was, it was like, Minimum passer rating this season, it was, it was a minimum six pass attempts, and Trace McSorley has the highest QB, QBR, and it said the stats don't lie. The and stats like, we need it, right there. It's like McSorley, Rogers, uh, Wilson, and it's just it's just like McSorley is all ready to go in the NFL. And, I don't yeah. even know how that 70-yard touchdown happened. That first defender just absolutely missed Hollywood Brown. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, can't, you can't miss Hollywood Brown. He's pretty fast. If you miss him, he's gone. All right, and that has been our first Warriors rundown. We're going to try to bring back a new episode every week. Uh, as always, I'm Mike, next to Sean, next to Matt, and we'll see you next time.